Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this screencast, I want to take a look at the Kava theme. Kava comes included in the CrocoBlock suite for Elementor. I've been using WordPress for a long time and I've tested hundreds of themes. When I saw that there was a theme included, I wanted to take a look. And I know that some people are curious and wonder for what kind of projects it would be a good choice. I was given a coupon to try the CrocoBlock suite. And as you'll see in the video, this is a balanced review. I'm going to show you the things I like and the things I don't like about the Kava theme as I'm walking through it. So here is a test site that has the Kava theme installed. You'll notice that the test data looks a little different than usual. That's because I've loaded up the theme unit test data, which is what's used on WordPress.org for testing themes to make sure that the themes cover the most common use cases and styles. So let's take a quick look at this test data. So here's a template sticky. When you specify that a post should be sticky, it's supposed to stay at the top, and it does. They've added this little push pin icon to it. We have our excerpt showing, which is nice. So here are HTML tags and formatting. We can look at those. So here are the headings, block quotes, Okay, that's what a block single line looks like, a multi-line. You can see they've thrown in some drawing elements and citations to see what these look like. So here's a little problem. The table doesn't have any spacing between the columns here. See, there are several columns here. It's not a big deal, but that's one thing that was missed. Here's an unordered list an ordered list, some HTML tags, citation tag, a code tag, horizontal rule, preformatted text, strike through, underline, so on. So except for that table, it looks fine. Let's look at the image alignment. So we've got some center aligned images. We've got a left aligned image with text around it. We've got a right aligned image with text wrapped around it. So these things look fine. All right, so it's generally looking pretty good. Looking at the sidebar here where the comments, see these nice little touches like having the little text bubble here next to the comments. I think that's nice. One thing I see though is that there's not a lot of room between the content and the sidebar. And if there's no way to adjust that in the customizer, that kind of thing can be a bit of a pain to style. Maybe not a big deal, but there's one thing there. Now we have our header here, and then there's a top bar. I, I personally like top bars and a place for a social menu. Let's go look at the customizer. Walk through those options here. There's a place here for upload a logo to replace the text. Your tagline shows up here in the top bar. It doesn't look like there's, it looks I guess you could change that, like if you wanted to put your contact information or phone number there, but tagline could be crawled for the SEO, so I'm not sure if you'd want to change that. There's a to top of page button down here, so that's nice. And then a page preloader. Let's refresh the page and see if we see that. Yep, there it is. So that's nice, little touch. Let's look at some general settings. So you can upload a fav icon. You can enable breadcrumbs. Enable breadcrumbs on the home page. Let's see where we see those. So I'm not seeing any breadcrumbs. Let's go for full here. Maybe we need to do that. 
Hmm. I'm not seeing any breadcrumbs. Let's go in and look here. So I'm I'm guessing the breadcrumbs thing looks like something that might not be working. I don't usually use breadcrumbs, but if you wanted to, that would be something that they would need to fix, and they do seem pretty responsive. So you've got options to show your social links. This is actually, I think, in the top bar, not the header, or in the footer. Yep, set social menu. We'll try that after we go through these options here. Page width, you can do boxed or full width. We don't see much change here, I guess because the background color is white. You can adjust the sidebar to make it smaller. There's maybe a little more space there, not really, nope, not really uh, much space there. So it doesn't look like that gives you more space. Here's a colors. I, it just has one item here, the background color. Hmm. Not sure why they have that and then have a color scheme. But this looks like a nice set of color options. Accent color, some text colors, link color, hover color, your heading colors. So those, that's nice. You've got your typography settings, your heading settings, your logo typography, your menu typography settings, the breadcrumb typography settings, and button typography settings. So those those are all nice. Your header options. Here's a background color for the header. I kind of like having all the header, the, I mean, all the color options in together. Not a big deal. <clears throat> this is so you can have a an header image for your, an image set, background image set for your header. And then choose some options here. If you wanted a parallax effect on that. So that's nice. And then top panel, which is color or enable or disable. So it's nice that they have a top panel here. I don't see, be nice if you could add like a widgets here for a text widget or a menu widget or other widgets here so you could customize the top bar a little bit more. This is a standard WordPress feature. These are your menus, your widgets, those are standard WordPress. So here you can customize the copyright text of your footer. That's nice. Used to be if you wanted to customize your footer you had to create a child theme and do that. So that's nice that they have this option. If I don't know if there are other variables you can use here besides year. If there are, it would be nice to have a little link or a pop-up here or a tooltip or something with that information. Blog settings. So these are your blog settings. So this is nice. Oh. Okay, and I guess if you had, uh, maybe if you had an image, it would show over here. So these are very nice. Um, quite a few options here for your blog <coughs> layout. Now each of these has 10 options. 
which is nice. I, it would be a little bit more useful for me if they had a name rather than just style three. So I could kind of, you know, put a handle on them. But you really have, this is quite a few options for your blog setting here. I'm just kind of looking at some of these. So this is nice. I think that's how it was. So it's nice you have all of these blog settings. That's pretty impressive. This is, I think, that's a standard WordPress, and this is a standard WordPress. So those are, those are some nice things that they have here. Let's go now, I'm just gonna save this, and let's go now and set our social menu. I guess I can't do that from within here. Let's go out of the customizer. Okay, that just takes us into the menus. So this is gonna take a menu there. What menus do we have? Just these are the menus that are came with that test unit data. So I guess we'll create a new one. I've kind of played around with this a little bit, so I'm pretty sure I know what to do here to get that to show. I think this is going to go into the social and footer. Maybe this should be top bar and footer. And we're gonna do some things here. I think this is how we do it. I think it's gonna automatically pick these up. And then you'd put your, so I think it's gonna just pick that up automatically. That's what I'm gonna try here. I'll just do a couple. Again, I think you'd go ahead and add your Twitter handle there on the end. see if that works now. Save that. Let's go look at the front end. Yeah, I picked those up. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Like I said before, when we're looking, there's not a lot of customization options of the top bar. I've seen other themes that where you can put widgets here instead, but this is what you get here, so that's that's fine. Let's go take a look at the back end. First thing I wanna look at here is that there is this plugin here, Kava Extra. Now, when you go to the CrocoBlock, your dashboard on their site to do downloads, this does not show as an option. And the only way I've gotten it to install is when I use the Jet Theme Wizard, when I install the Kava theme with the wizard. So just something to keep in mind if you want this, you're going to need it. Now what that does is it adds this box here, the Post Format Settings box. And this is a nice little feature. This is pretty common here. A lot of themes support some subset of the different post formats that WordPress can support. And they style the post a little differently maybe if you, depending on what you, which one of these you pick. But this is an extra feature. You can create an image gallery. 
you can enter the URL and link target, the quote and who, who the citation. Options for if you if you're doing a sound clip or a video clip. So these are some nice little features here that that plugin adds. Now going back again to the back end here, when we look here, uh, this is the this is I think added with the Jet Theme Core. You can see it it has there's a little image that's missing, but you can install the child a child theme here, and then there's this option when you're using Jet Theme Core that when there's an update from Crocoblock, it'll make a copy of your theme, a backup copy, or you can do it manually. That's a nice, you know, plus thing that they added. All right, so we've looked at the theme and we noticed there are a few things that could be better, a couple of minor style things that maybe we're missing, but overall it's a solid theme. It's certainly better than the 2017 theme, for instance, or, you know, kind of stock themes like that. It's not as full featured as some other themes like Astra or Ocean WP or Generate Press. Those are multi-purpose themes that have a lot of features and that also work well with page builders. Now the Kava theme also works well with Elementor. And let's just go, let's go create a page here. Just, you know, see we've got the Elementor options here. So Let's ask the question, what kind of theme is Kava? It's not a business theme. It's not a magazine theme. It's not a multimedia theme for photographers or for videographers. It's not a music band theme. It is a general purpose theme, but it doesn't have as many bells and whistles as Astra theme, Ocean WP, or Generate Press. The conclusion that I've come to is that the Kava theme is an Elementor theme. It really is designed for use with Elementor. Should you use the Kava theme? I think it depends on what kind of site you're building. Some of the header options and some of the styling options and whatnot are limited, but if you're going to use Elementor and or the Crocoblock suite to create your own headers and footers and your own templates and your own layout, then yeah, it's fine. If, however, you just want to use Elementor to handle the content section of a page or post, then it's a little bit limited. So in conclusion, the Kava theme has some good things going for it. It works well with Elementor. It had those nice post format options. It has, you know, dozens of blog layout options that look nice. If you're going to use Elementor to create your headers and footers and maybe your content templates, it's, you know, up for the job for that. If, on the other hand, you want to just use your page builder for the content, then Kava isn't as full featured as some other themes. And it's got a few rough edges of, you know, a couple small things that weren't working. So anyway, that's my overview of the theme. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.